Hello everyone, greetings from Warsaw, Poland. Uh, it's been a while since I have filmed anything for you using not the front camera of my phone and actually using the mic and it feels a bit strange to actually film something using the mic, standing. Well, uh, within last week uh, we have returned to conducting interviews both with our potential male clients, with our current male clients. Uh, we have uh, restarted introducing our clients to Slavic ladies, to Ukrainian ladies who are in the west of Ukraine or in Western Europe who have evacuated and uh, we will see how this format will go. Pretty much we have already experimented uh, with Zoom dates uh, during the lockdown. Uh, we offer our clients uh, a coaching package. We have offered it during the lockdown and uh, we have tested it quite a bit. Uh, now our old matchmaking package, uh, it still stands in a sense that we still do a thorough background check on all our female members and we conduct multiple interviews but now we will introduce our clients male clients to ukrainian ladies at first uh, by zoom and then they will meet in western europe uh, and it will depend where uh, on it will depend on the location of the lady and the gentleman Within last week I have talked to different ladies from our database and uh, new members who are now in Prague, in Poland, in different cities, uh, in Germany, in Portugal, even in Ireland. So it's a little bit surreal. Uh, yes, it's a sad reason to be in Western Europe. Uh, I think now I try to enjoy, enjoy some of the war. So because the circumstances why I am here are terrible. But we are hopeful. Uh, all ladies with whom I am talking to, uh, everyone is hopeful to return back home to Kiev, to Kharkov. We are looking forward to uh, spring and uh, the end of this crazy war. Anyway, uh, what else I wanted to share with you really quickly. Within the last several days I have started receiving messages, emails, uh, from gentlemen who have reached out to us like two or three years ago and uh, we haven't accepted them as clients uh, mostly because they wanted to date someone who is 20, 30 years younger and uh, I have explained to them that uh, we don't introduce with such a big age gap not because we don't want to not because we're against the age gaps like uh, one gentleman has written to me that Svetlana now the circumstances have changed and uh, two years ago you've said that you can't introduce me to someone who's 25 years younger reconsider because now there is war in your country guys I still don't know ladies uh, who are open and willing to date someone who is 20 25 years older yes nowadays I see that uh, many ladies with whom I am talking to and I ask them what type of a man they want to date many said that uh, prior to the war Svetlana I would have given you this long list that he has to have this fantastic sense of humor he has to be this easygoing type of a guy this adventurous type of a guy or like one lady has uh, said to me that uh, uh, previously she wouldn't consider a date in certain astrological signs but now many ladies understand that uh, it's so superficial to be looking for this uh, sense of humor or astrological sign and uh, it is important to meet someone who is stable, who is reliable, uh, who has similar long-term goals and uh, I would say that uh, many women have <laughs> really reconsidered what they are looking for but it has nothing to do with the age difference within last week I haven't met a single lady who would have told me that you know Svetlana 20 30 years uh, older than me or introduce me to him no it hasn't happened so when gentlemen now email me something like oh now for sure you can introduce me to someone who is like 25 years younger with model looks etc no guys same rules still apply I still do not recommend you to date someone desperate and uh, the whole idea that she will be willing to date uh, anyone 
well, it's not a good base, not the best base uh, to build a relationship. And also, even if by chance, for example, I find a lady who miraculously agreed to go out with a guy who is like 25 years older than she is, uh, chances are strong that after the date she would tell that, you know what, he looks old, he feels old, and I'm so not interested. Uh, so, if you believe that now is the time to actually uh, prolong your list of requests regarding a potential match, no, it's not the case. So, if you believe that uh, now there will be some hot, desperate uh, supermodels who would be willing to date just anyone, no, it's not going to happen. Yes, right now we focus on ladies who speak at least uh, basic and higher level of English or any other European language and uh, I have talked to several ladies who teach German, teach French, uh, invest in Europe and uh, we will recruit candidates there as well. I feel excited about this process and uh, I like how the interviews go so far. It inspires me, it feels good to be doing something normal. I'm talking to the team regularly and we all are looking forward, of course, scheduling dates in Kharkov. Uh, but as I have mentioned in previous videos, I won't let this madman to also kick me out from the business that I have been building for almost 14 years. So we keep spreading love without losing its quality and we keep serving all our clients whom we have signed up prior to the war. And if you want to meet uh, a beautiful, smart uh, Ukrainian lady uh, who is in Western Europe at the moment. Uh, now is the best time to do it uh, because now we cater such introductions. Guys, I hope it makes sense to you and I think that I will be filming the next one from another location already, from another country. Well, we will see. Uh, it looks like I, have, I will be changing a few, quite a few locations uh, before I return to Kharkov. I know that Ukraine will win, love will win, and uh, like we have already promised, uh, within the next three years we, uh, we have promised ourselves, we the Cupids, to introduce 150 more uh, couples who will get married. So I hope you are in uh, with this our desire and from every client whom we will sign up from now on uh, we will actually uh, donate money into rebuilding windows in Kharkov once the war is over because many windows have been destroyed and uh, we have a plan to help rebuild our favorite city, favorite city in the world. So guys, I hope it makes sense and uh, I will be back with more dating tips and advice. Please let me know if you want a live stream within the next few days. Hopefully I will manage to do one for you. I'm wishing you lots of love. Svetlana Muha, especially from Diola.com from Warsaw, Poland.